Okay, so now we've got the uh, scroll magic plugged into our page, we can start playing about with it. So there are some examples on the scroll magic website. So scroll down the page and there's a link to the examples there. So I'm going to choose the example under advanced and it's animating with CSS. It's, it's fairly simple. Uh, so if I just um, scroll down here, we can see as I scroll, uh, we've got the um, the uh, this little indicator here, which is the trigger. Um, so it just it just indicates the center of the page. Uh, this is the actual trigger item here. So when these two meet by scrolling, something happens here. So what's actually happening is this element here here is having a CSS class applied to it by scroll magic. Okay, so we can have a look at the source here. If I just go through this quickly, so this first bit of script here uh, just um, sort of starts scroll magic. Uh, we need that uh, as the controller. Okay. Uh, the next bit is some CSS. This gives us the um, CSS class to apply to our element. So in this case, it's the zap one that's getting applied to the uh, red box, uh, and it's transforming it. So it's setting the scale to two and a half times wide, so it's uh, stretching wide and zero tall, so it's uh, squashing it down as well. Uh, and the transition is making this um, transform um, transition, so it's not um, it's not an instant thing, uh, so over three, uh, 0.3 seconds. Uh, we've got some HTML elements here. So we've got one with the ID trigger one. This is um, the thing that's gonna activate the trigger. Uh, we've got one with an ID animate one. Uh, this is the thing that's going to have the additional class applied to it. And then we've got some um, uh, more JavaScript down here. So this is the uh, how we tell scroll magic um, what the trigger uh, uh, element is. In this case, it's trigger one. And what we want to do with that. So in this case, uh, we, uh, we're doing a, a, a class toggle. So we're applying the class toggle to the element named animate one, which is this div here. So it's adding the zap class, uh, which is this here. And uh, this little line here just adds those indicators. And then this line at the bottom just um, sort of adds the whole thing to this controller here. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm not going to copy this whole thing, but I'm going to copy the JavaScript and make it work with my own content. I'm going to copy this line here. That gets pasted into the index.js file, and then I'm going to copy the other chunk of JavaScript here paste it into the JS file as well. Okay, so this is the stuff that makes it work. Okay, uh, mainly this stuff here. Okay, so I can actually apply this to anything, really. So all we're doing here is we're telling scroll magic uh, what the trigger element is, um, which element we want to um, sort of change, and what we want to apply to it. Um, so we can change these around, and I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm, going to, uh, I'm going to find something that I want to change in here. So let's have a little look. So there's actually a, a block quote here. So I'm going to change this block quote. I'm going to change its color. That's quite an easy one. So when I scroll to it, it will change color. So in so I'll just save that in HTML. I find the block quote here. I'm going to, I'm going to give the block quote an ID because I need that because it's going to be the trigger. And it's going to be the uh, element that gets changed as well. So I'm going to call this um, Yotam because it's a quote by Yotam, Otamengi. Okay, um, so I'll save that. Um, so then in index.html, I change the trigger to hash Yotam. I change the set class toggle to um, to transform the element called Yotam and it's going to add a class to it and I'm just going to 
uh, change this to uh, a class name. I'm going to say make orange. So this is going to be a class name that I make. So I'm going to make that now. So I'm going to do uh, dot make underscore orange. I'm going to say background orange. Okay, so hopefully this will work. So um, let's go over that again. I've chosen a block quote, given it an ID, so the name is a name. In uh, scroll magic, I'm saying okay, the trigger element is the thing with the class, uh, the uh, ID Yotam. So is the element that I'm going to add the class to. I define what the class is. And that's pretty much it. So make sure everything's saved. Uh, reload the page. So we can see our trigger elements here, just not showing us where things are. When I scroll, bam, it's turned orange. Okay. Um, one last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this line off here. I'm just going to toggle that. So I've turned it off, and hopefully we won't be able to see those indicators there. So when I scroll there, it changes orange. Brilliant.